outrage after video footage emerged as seemingly of a South African woman being manhandled by Irish police on Christmas Eve. 47-year-old Amanda Rutledge and her four children who were living in a homeless family hub were allegedly told to vacate the premises. So then the police were called in. Apparently Rutledge and her sons had not yet left the premises when the police arrived. So here is the footage. Uh, police then proceeded to physically remove her and her children after extensive questioning, it's still unclear why the family was forced to vacate that homeless hub. All right, Mr Nwaba Yomzi Kwankwa joins us on the line, Deputy UDM Leader. Uh, firstly, in, the, in that video, I, I don't know if you can tell us the full story, if, if you know more, because it, she's pinned down and it seems like she's screaming, uh, but we don't really know what happened before. Well, the difficulty with that uh, video is that uh, the people who told us, who shared the information with us, uh, only told us that uh, she was refusing to move, apparently. But whether or not she was refusing to move because uh, she's homeless, the bottom line is that they had no right to manhandle it that way, to treat her that way. She posed and continues to pose no threat to them as law enforcement agencies and people of authority. Yeah. Uh, but we have actually escalated the matter as the UDM to the Minister of International Relations, who has promised to look into the matter and revert back to us, uh, because this is a human rights issue. But you see, for us as the United Democratic Movement, this points to a very critical issue that needs to be addressed, where the legal and normative framework affecting international migrants has not been strengthened with all the, the progress that has been made in terms of trying to protect people's human rights. But the other critical issue which we would like South Africa to actually need is ensuring that there is a, there's a need for a coherent and robust international migration governance, uh, that we need to have a discussion around that, that issue in order to protect the rights of migrants all over the world, okay. including migrants in South Africa. Okay. There's a need for us to standardize this issue. But Mr. Kwanko, the question is, do you know for certain that she wasn't posing a threat? Because we don't see what happened in the video before she was pinned down. There's no hitting. She, she's being pinned down by police. This video was taken by the fellow South Africans who are based in Ireland. They were complaining about police brutality, but they did not know who to escalate this matter to. And I said, fine, bring the video to us so that we can escalate it to our authorities in South Africa. We'll then do an investigation to find out what is happening there. I mean, you have four or five women, uh, police officers, rather, and two, I think, male police officers who are trying to restrain her and are pinning her down, and she's not carrying anything. She has nothing. You can even hear in the background someone saying she's being treated like this for, for having done absolutely nothing. So that's why it's up to the authorities in South Africa to investigate this matter, get the root cause and the bottom of this problem, and then come up with a solution for it. A question could be, why are you taking up this matter when there are forced removals in South Africa often? Well, look, even with the forced removals in South Africa, it's not an issue per se if you are removing people, say, from one area to another area, but it's actually how you treat the human beings. You can't treat them as subhumans because you are removing them from one area to another. They have fundamental human rights which must be respected. Even in this case, that is what we want to ensure that happened. And even in this case, that is why we are saying it's important for the South African government to get a proper explanation as to what happened and to also verify the authenticity, or authenticity rather, of this video and the information that we've received. But it's backed up by news reports of what happened there. But, but this is one incident in Ireland. It sounds like you don't even know exactly what the facts are yet. And many mm. argue that there's systemic violence against foreign nationals here in South Africa. Should the UDM not be championing that cause closer to home? We have championed it. Remember, in 2015, the United Democratic Movement is the only party to its deputy president that went and spent a night with the, with, the, with the victims of xenophobic violence in 2015. So this human rights issue is not selective. It doesn't seek to only protect South Africans or to, to raise alarm with the South Africans' human rights that are, are seemingly being violated. We, we are always consistent on this issue. That's why even through the African Parliamentarians Association for Human Rights, we've been consistent in raising issues of human rights violations that happen around the continent.
All right, thank you very much. That was UDM Deputy President Nkwaba Yomzi Kwankwa. And uh, we'll see if any more information uh, does come out about that woman uh, seen in that video screaming, a South African homeless woman apparently uh, being manhandled by Irish police officers.